it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it's October, my favorite month. It It is fall and my birthday. Not today, but sometime this month. And it's 30 Days of Sketches. And I love when Christy puts on 30 Days of Sketches. And this is round 10. And they're all... Um, all the sketches are made specifically for this series, which is so cool. So I will be playing along every day. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I think I can do it. So I'm going to be playing along every day as well as so many other people. So Christy has gone with a playlist again. So I will have that playlist linked down below where you can check out everybody who is playing along. So today's sketch was made by Jessica Michaels super awesome. I am going to start by um, picking two photos and they are of my son's first day of school and I am using the Storyteller collection from Coco Vanilla Studios because that was the collection I used for my daughters. So I figure they're going to be next to each other. They can kind of coordinate but they're still going to be definitely different. So I am starting with a white background, but I did go ahead and uh, matte the white background on this kind of green with white circles. Um, I had already taken it and gutted it and used the inside, so now I'm using the frame. And then I have a cut file from cut to you it's called starlight star bright so i'll have that linked down below as well um, to bring in the stars in the sketch i am not doing a big star i'm just doing a bunch of little scar stars but still on that kind of diagonal now she's got some mixed media and so since I am doing white on white, I decided to put my mixed media completely um, through the stars. So I started with some Distress Oxide in Prize Ribbon. And I just used a blending brush and basically put it like where kind of the outline of the stars. So then I'm going to grab some Shimmers Paints. Um, I believe this one is called Evergreen. And I'm going to do a little packaging technique. Um, I even use packaging that has stuff in it. <laughs> that way I don't have to like go look for extra packaging. Now I had already started gluing down the very corner of this cut file before I decided to add the green. So you're going to see here that I'm going to put the green down. I'm going to, you know, put it wherever I want. I'm going to add some splatters and then I am going to put the cut file back down. Now, since this media is still wet, it is not dried, it's actually going to soak up into that white cut file and since it was doing that, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to add a little bit of extra to the areas that it didn't soak up. So you can kind of see how that looks. I went ahead and glued the cut file down with my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And I am going to work on my photos. So yes, it calls for smaller photos, but these are the photos I have. And um, I didn't feel like reprinting them. So I do tend to work a lot in four by six photos, sometimes four by four. Um, I don't tend to do the smaller because I, I do batch printing most of the time. Um, occasionally, if I need one or two photos, I will print from home and I'll know like what size I need them. But for the most part, I don't know what size I'm going to need because I don't know what I'm going to do with that layout. So I tend to just print in four by six. That is, that's easier for me. So I am going to go through the uh, Storyteller Collection Ephemera Pack. And I've decided that I am going to leave out all the pinks and reds and oranges. And it's really just going to be a blue and green layout. And... I like that. Um, his shirt is blue. The view from our deck, you can see all the greenery. So 
there are some black and white pieces that are going to come in as well. So I felt like I needed to map my photos, and I do think that I most of the time map my photos. Um, and I'm going to go with this like plaid piece of blue. I really, really love this piece of paper. Um, so every scrap of this will be saved for sure. So I matted both photos and then I am actually going to layer them on one each one another as well as kind of make them a little skewed versus straight next to each other. Um, again, just because they're so big. Now, it does cover up a lot of the cut file and a lot of my mixed media. So, you know, at this point I am kind of wishing that maybe they were a little bit smaller of a photo, but these are his first day of his senior year. So these are really the last first day of school pictures I'm going to get, um, especially if he chooses not to go to college. So I feel like they, they need to be before by six. <laughs> they don't need to be little. They need to be big. So I'm going to do a couple of clusters. I'm going to do one that is on that upper left hand corner because there's a little bit of space in that photo and then I'm going to do a little cluster down at the bottom. I am going to pull in um, some florals but they're blue and green so they work. Um, I did add a couple of pieces to the top of the other photo as well so I guess I have three photos or three <laughs> embellishment clusters. I don't think that was necessarily my intention, um, but it did work out that way. So we're just we're just gonna go with it. Um, I love doing embellishment clusters when there's some negative space on the the photo um, because I feel like it, it just brings your eye in even that much more to the photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere all of these pieces down. Um, I do try to tuck some on top of the photo and some below. Now this frame that I put back there, I am going to cut it in half because I feel like I can use the other half of that frame um, some other time. I don't always do that, but I did feel like that was absolutely uh, necessary. And it's probably because I hoard cocoa vanilla. That's, that's definitely one that I try to use every little tiny bit of it. I don't, maybe, maybe I don't hoard it. I just try to be frugal with it. That's probably a better word. So I am going to look and see if there's anything left. Um, I had a couple of tiny word stickers and it looks like that is going to do it for me. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you head over to the playlist and give everybody some love and see everybody's take on the sketch, especially uh, Jessica because she created it. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I love, love, love to chat with you and I will see you tomorrow with another sketch. So remember to wear your crown. Bye.